but currently you know my situation. I'm financially unstable. I can do my best by giving you half of the money. Babe. I just lost a contract of $10 million. Hmm. Babe, I'm not asking you for $20 million. I'm not asking you for 10. I'm not even asking you for five four. I'm only asking you for two. And I'm telling me contracts. What has contract got to do with me asking you for money? See, just tell me when I'll get the money and let me go. I don't want to argue with you. I'm tired of arguing with you. It's not my fault you lost that contract. It is yours. You are always, always losing one contract upon the other. I told you I'm financially unstable. Even this one, I have to go for it for my friend. Eh? Aren't you shy? To be telling your wife this, aren't you a sh See, in fact, you're an embarrassment. Sweetheart. Yes, babe. I'm looking amazing today. Mm-hmm. All for you. Oh, thank you. I knew you like it. Sure. <laughs> you know, I'm happy having you around me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really appreciate you a lot. I bless the day I met you. Make me blush. Oh, come on. You're an amazing woman. Thank you, babe. Babe, you know something? Mm -hmm. um, I'll be getting you the latest Range Rover book in town. Stop playing. Come on, I'm serious. Babe, stop playing. Come on, I'm serious. Are you serious? Yeah. Sure, darling. You see, I knew you would always make me happy. That is why I agreed to say yes to you. Really? <laughs> oh, that's my queen. Oh. I'm always happy beside you. Oh, same here, babe. You always make my day. Babe, do you care for water? Yeah, sure. Okay. Felicia! Felicia! Yes, ma. Ma, please, you call. Yes, give me the glass first. Okay, ma. And make sure you clean the glass first. Yes, ma. This dump maid always roaming in this house. Babe. Don't know where you are. Mommy, have you thought of him firing here? Mm. What do you think? Mm -mm. Ma. Yes, he said to them. Thank you. Please, would that be all? Yes. Thank Just you. imagine. Just leave here. Babe. What's wrong? You don't look so good. How can I look so good? I've lost the contract. You've lost the contract? Yes. Again? Wait. Is it the same contract you promised to get me a car from? Yes, of course. Hmm. The same contract you promised me a two weeks vacation? Yeah. You're lying. It can't be. Just last month, you lost one. This month, see. Okay, so fine. My car, what happens to it? Honey, relax. In fact, you didn't answer me. You buy me that car. Anyhow, 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 you buy me that car. See, you would embarrass me. You would embarrass me. I don't see. Anyhow, that car, you must, you must get it for me. My vacation must come on. You give me a date. It, uh -uh. it has to come on. You hear me? Honey, relax, okay? Don't we'll fix relax. this, okay? Don't tell me to relax. Relax, we'll fix this. Relax and do what again. You always, you always win this. What is it? Uh-uh. You would like me to do for you? No, please. Okay. Say, are you okay? I mean, is everything okay with you? Do I look disturbed? 
No. Or no. someone who is frustrated. No, sir. Good, and yes, I'm okay. Okay, sir. Say, I just want to tell you that whatsoever you are going through, God is in control, you will be fine. How? What do you mean? I see how Madame talks to you in this house, rudely. I see how she disrespects you here and there, all because you've lost your contract again. And I just want to tell you to have faith in the Lord. Really? So you've overheard all the conversations that we had? No! At me? No! How did you manage to hear this? Um, um, I'm, I'm just trying to be a concerned maid. I'm telling you, um, God will make a way. This is the last time that we'll be having a conversation and you try to come and listen to it. Semi, I mean no harm. I didn't hear any conversation between the two of you. I just want to tell you to have faith in the Lord. Okay, thank you. Say, please, I'll be in the kitchen. If you like, come and sit down and massage me. Sorry, sir. Sorry for yourself. Babe. Hey, honey. I can see you're working. Yeah, sure. But at least, can I have one minute? Why not? Okay. Um, do you remember I've been telling you that my businesses are not doing so well? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh -huh. So I sat down and then listed the things that I think would help me to push my business up there. And um, in total, everything would cost just $2 million. So uh, when do you think I'll get the money? Two million dollars. Mm -hmm. okay. Honey, you know, uh, I've been supportive, okay? You know I've been taking care of you. I've been doing a lot for you. But currently, you know my situation. I'm financially unstable. I can do my best by giving you half of the money. Babe. I just lost a contract of 10 million dollars. Hmm, babe, I'm not asking you for 20 million. I'm not asking you for 10. I'm not even asking you for five, oh. I'm only asking you for two. And yeah, I'm telling me contracts. What has contract got to do with me asking you for money? See, just tell me when I get the money and let me go. I don't want to argue with you. I'm tired of arguing with you. It's not my fault you lost that contract. It is yours. You are always, always losing one contract upon the other. I told you I'm financially unstable. Even this one, I have to go for it from a friend. Eh? Aren't you shy? To be telling your wife this, aren't you shy? See, in fact, you're an embarrassment. My friends are out there. Their houses are giving them 10 billion, 20 billion. I'm, I'm only asking you for two. Two million, not even billion. And you're telling me, you give me half. Is it my fault that you lost a contract? Is it my fault that you're a useless man? Is it my fault? You are always in the house. You always be watching TVs, selling useless emails. For only God knows what that thing will even bring. Take your money. Mm -hmm. Take your money. Always losing contracts. Nonsense, man. It's not your fault. I blame myself for even marrying you. I blame myself for stooping so low to even agree to marry a useless, stupid man like you. Idiot. I need to I better get out. Every day contracts. Every day contracts. What? Is it every time I marry you? What at all is this? seems to be the problem. You don't look so good. Why would I look so good when you were shouting at me, talking to me anyhow, as if I've not been supportive? Babe, look. Yes, yeah, honey. I am really, really sorry. Okay, I am sorry for every single thing I have done to you. I know I should have been the best wife ever. I should have been your peace, your home that you come to. But instead, I was being harsh and I spoke down to you. Look, I promise you, moving forward, 
I would be the best wife ever. I'll be your support. I would, I would do anything at all you ask me to do. I just don't want to see you this way. Okay, it's sad and depressing. Look, just tell me anything at all you want. Be your money, be your help with your contract or with your company. I am willing to help you. No, I'm not like that. Thank you so much, honey. You know I love you so much. I love you too, babe. You know, the one that always makes me happy. I know, and I'm really sorry, okay? I promise you it won't happen again. Okay, just promise me it won't be like this. I won't be like that. So far as you're making me happy, you are there for me, I won't. Like I said, anything you need, just tell me. Is it money? Is it help with your contract? Is it help running your company? I am here for you. Okay? Honey, no, don't worry, okay? Just take care of the house expenses, the bills, that's all. Done deal. I'm okay. You don't have any problem with that. Thank you so much, <laughs> honey. Oh. I miss you so much, and I'm really sorry. You're such a doll, man. Yeah.